fucked up, folks. Yeah, let's, let's do a start video of my Dodge Ram 50 and show you a tailgate update. That's a new uh, pedal pad, see? If only they grow a little dark, that'd be cool. Alright. That's the Rolling Stones keychain. I do have the this set uh, Rolling Stones from, uh, it was one of the years, uh, 1962 to 1971, 36. Is the double album. Yeah, anyways. Uh, Alright. Okay. All right, there we go. There's like a push button on the mission switch that you push to turn when you're in the off position and turn the wheel just a little bit. All right, neutral. Clutch in. I mean, yeah. you can see that. See, you start right up. Yeah, you're gonna watch my foot. That sounded like the water pump's going a little bit. Take a look under the hood. Oh yeah, that's my Kenwood C player. That came with the truck. Ain't bad. And that's just the door buzzer. Oh yeah, I got some driving lights, but you need to fire up a switch, which I got. I just got to find the time. If somebody has to know how to do it. But I can't do it. And my dad could do it, because he hooked up the snowfall lights. So that seems switch. Alright. 2.4 liter Mitsubishi. It has a thing over its hand, as you can see. That plastic the cover. That's, uh... That's the pulley, or the gear, uh, well, for the time belt. Small force fuel injection. It does need a new oxygen sensor, and new uh, starts to close, and wires, and uh, oil tanks and stuff. We got a lot of pumps soon. A few miles more. Hey, and I got the toolbox. Anyways. Now, on the previous video, you've seen that, uh, you know, my truck has the tailgate letters. Now look. See? I just got rid of those uh, Dodge letters, and I had this uh, Dodge Ram emblem on the back of a Dodge Ram van. At the, from the junkyard. I think they made $2. And you had the Dodge Ram head sticker, which is eh, maybe $6. Underneath the tailgate handle, so it's nice and centered. All I need is a front bumper and a lunch plate, you know, one sleeve. That's why I haven't done as much because, you know, I've been busy working and, and all that, trying to save some money to get all that taken care of and to get this there done. Yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's the tailpipe. Soon I'll just put a clamp on the exhaust tip, like you see in my hot rack, actually. And then take care of this dent, so maybe at the body shop won't be too much money. Get my pipes and get rid of all this decal, which I'll do myself. Make sure I get the appropriate removal kit in it. Bumper, yeah, it's been paid out from the sun. Due to environmental exposure, UV rays, whatever you call it. Yeah, so there's, there's a way to restore to make it look black again. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. There's the light. And he's on. Okay, as you see, as you can see, the old Dobner, it has uh, 166,731 miles. Yeah, that's a lot. And we're still running half the tank. Now, I'm going to put on the heater. Only that high. 
I'll put on vent. Ooh, that's hot already. That's for the floor. And this is the recirculate. Floor level. The frost air floor level. And the frost air alone on these two vents here. And the frost air and vent at the same time. So that is a bad idea. Now some other models they have like a little digital clock here and a full gauge package with a tack outer and two extra gauges. Yeah, so and that side window the frosters, that's good. I don't want that to be rolling down the window and go up just to get rid of everything on the windows. Which I'll do real quick. Now I'll put those blind spots on here so I can see where I'm parking at. Okay. Ooh, it's a little chilly, so I'm going to cool that down and put that in the vent 5 level. And I'm going to put on the AC. AC button. Woo! See how cold it is. I'm just giving it a preview so I know, um, you know, it's ready to use uh, this summer. It's still the R12. Now, the air conditioning in my Hot Rod Chrysler was 87. The R12 uh, ran out on it. But then, uh, so it might be a leak on it. On the hose somewhere, and may have to get changed out. So, uh, let's see, according with the EPA, it requires you to take it to a shop to uh, expel the the remaining of the R12 inside the AC system, and the switch was R134A. And you can still use the same parts, you know, the hoses, the vaporizer the condenser, uh, the AC compressor, and so on. So you don't have to change out the whole system, just the, the refrigerant. But that's going to cost a lot of money, you know, because it takes an expert to, uh, you know, an EPA certified or whatever to expel all that into the atmosphere. Because, I mean, they discontinued back in the mid-90s somewhere, somewhere in 94 or 95, can't remember which. So this, is a, this truck is a 93. And, uh, you know, even you know, I'm making a little bit more money, so you know, I get for the 134A whenever the R12 goes bad, if it right now. You know, because you know, I want the car that comes with that. So, you know, in case I do have that problem, I can easily go to any auto parts store with a re some refill cans to do it myself. But you know, this is why I end up getting you know, it's, you know, you can't get always get what you want, but when you end up getting something, you know, you get to be happy and just work out any idea you have in your head to make it better for you. Yeah, so that, that, that sticker won't move. So this truck isn't bad. I mean, the only thing weird about it is the sh shift knob uh, about too short. Usually in, in other smaller trucks, it will be that high. Well, it's in neutral, but look, let me just run through the gears. Yes, yeah, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and I had to slow it down first to put it in reverse. Now this looks like a pistol grip, but I'm, uh, it's just kind of feels weird to shift it that way. Yeah. Now I'm very good at driving stick, but once I get everything uh, legal and maybe a friend to, you know, film what I'm doing, you know, to film the video of me shifting, because I know I don't know how you guys on YouTube or whatever could uh, drive. I mean, drive a stick and hold a camera at the same time and steer. Unless you have three arms, that'll be uh, possible. But everybody has two hands. So I don't know how you do it. All right. Well, enough of this jibber jabber. Anyway, I'm sorry to bore you guys, but you know, if you're not interested, just let me know. So we're out.